Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial about engineering economics. This is for the FE exam preparation. Uh, this is brought to you by feexamguide.com. So let us begin. Today we will talk about cash flow diagrams. So what a cash flow diagram is, is basically your flow of money going out of your account and coming into your account for a particular project. So the way to draw a cash flow diagram, an example is shown right here. So if you draw a horizontal axis and divide it into certain time periods, so here n is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So we've divided it into f four time periods. So your beginning is $15,000 being expensed out of your account. So this could be a cost uh, which you have paid for the machine for a particular project or it could be let's say if you have a landscaping business it could be money spent on getting bobcat or, and all the other equipment and it is shown as a downward arrow because any of the expenses disbursements payments and costs would be represented by downward arrows in your cash flow diagrams all the upward arrows would be your generated revenue, credits, receipts, uh, any kind of profits that you've made in your business would be with upward arrows. So here in the at, in year one, you have $15,000 as an expense. And then in year two, you have $10,000 coming in, uh, probably as revenue from your uh, from your initial investment uh, and five thousand dollars are being spent as costs it could be maintenance costs it could be a subscription fee it could be anything so five thousand dollars are being paid every year to maintain this project and ten thousand dollars are coming in as revenue so it is the same for n is equal to two three and for four, you have $5,000, same, same thing, expense every year. It is a uniform expense. $10,000 coming in, which is uniform like the other three years. And there's also the $7,000, which is considered as your salvage value. So at the end of the life of a particular machine, you will sell off the machine and then you'll write it off uh, with whatever you, you sold it for. So here $7,000 is what we sold our machine for and that came into our account and thereby shown by an upward arrow. So the simplified version of this cash flow diagram would be your initial $5,000 at n is equal to zero. Let me just redraw this here, n is equal to zero. At n is equal to one, you have $10,000 minus $5,000. So you have $5,000 as profit after deducting your costs. Same for year two, same for year three. For the year four, you have the $5,000 as profit plus the $7,000. So you have $5,000 as profit plus $7,000, which is the salvage value. thereby you have the twelve thousand dollars at year four uh, so here i've written down some points so you draw a horizontal time axis and divide it into equal parts up to n periods so here we just did that any expenses disbursements and payments are costs and would be downward arrows so all the costs would be downward arrows any generated revenue credits receipts are represented by upward arrows. So anything, any money that is coming in to your account would be upward arrows. And then for Simply City, uh, in, in, in general economics, you basically deal with either uniform payments or gradient pay payments. So uniform payments is when you have a certain amount of money coming in every year and it is uniform, just like like here it is shown you have ten thousand dollars coming in every year so that is considered a uniform 
uniform payment. You have $5,000 every year going as your expense. So that is an example of a uniform payment. So equal uniform payments annually A. Now gradient is, so there's uniform payments and then there's gradients. So gradient is change by same amount between period one and two and thereafter. So here we'll go over this. I'll just draw the cash flow diagram. So one, two, three, four, and five. So it'll be zero, one, two, three, and four. So basically your timeline starts at time zero. So let's say you have still the same thing. You have $15,000 being spent on a machine. Let's say your profit this time is $10,000 and your expenses are $5,000. So what will happen in case of gradients is next year, your profit would be $15,000 and your expenses would be the same. And here your profit would be $20,000 and your expenses would be 5,000. And here your profit would be $25,000 and expenses would be 5,000. So here you'll see one thing you'll notice is that we did not account for salvage value. Again, that will be provided in the question if you have a salvage value or not. If you have a salvage value, all you do is basically add it here with whatever amount you have at the end. So here you'll see between year one and two, you have difference of $5,000. So you have $5,000. Here you have between year two and three, you have $5,000. Between three and four, you have $5,000. So we'll go back to the definition again. Gradient is change by same amount between time period one and two and thereafter. So here you have $10,000. So between one and two, you have 5,000 and then it is increasing by the same amount till the end of the project life. So that would be considered a G value. So gradient G here would be equal to $5,000. We'll look at the examples in the coming tutorial. So don't stress about it too much right now. Another point I want to make at this moment is Base amount at t is equal to one is handled separately as a uniform series. So whenever you're solving for these uh, engineering economics problems, especially in the case of the FE, you will take the gradient to be 5,000, which would be the difference every year. And you will also calculate your annual uniform payment would be taken as the amount at year one. So that'll be your $10,000. So whenever we solve, which you guys would uh, see in the upcoming tutorials, is your calculations would be based on annual payment of 10,000 and the gradient value would be, would be chosen as $5,000. So I'll conclude this tutorial here and we will look at some of the examples in the upcoming tutorials. Remember guys, uh, this was brought to you by feexamguide.com. Thank you for listening and watching. Bye-bye.